Hi babes, I'm back for good this time. I'm working on a more complex video essay right now, but I felt compelled to do some good old fashioned dunking to fill the void in my soul. You should see a couple more videos like this come out very soon, you know, boomer watch style or just a general dunking, but I feel like I wanted to ease my way back into making videos. So what better way than shooting fish in a barrel? Also, yes, if you're wondering, I did the bisexual lighting because I didn't want to clean up my room. Leafy clones. Can't live with them. Can't. I wish they would stop. Please stop. The irreparable damage Leafy is here did to internet culture is hard to measure, but his absence gave a rise to annoying wannabes with way less charisma somehow, if you can believe that, and also somehow even less coherent in making an argument. Sensitive society is the Leafy clone I want to talk about today. The society is spelled with a three if you're not looking at the screen right now, which understandable. I, you know, put on YouTube videos in the background too. Understandable. We're gonna look at a few of the videos on Sensitive Society's channel, and we're gonna see how his arguments stack up. His name's Oscar, by the way. He's also older than me, which is the really sad part. You know, I would, I would be, I would give him slack if he were like, you know, a kid or like 19 or like 20. He is like 25. There's, there's no slack for this man. Man, man. He's, he's, I mean, he's like a normal guy, but he has like some insanely reactionary takes. He doesn't really want to think that he thinks anything bigoted, so he won't acknowledge that he did say anything bigoted. And if you try to correct him on something, he'll double down and wander in circles. And you all say the same things as Ben Shapiro. So it doesn't matter if it's your video that autoplays Ben Shapiro. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter if it's your video or a Cheetos video or Diesel Patches' video that autoplays Ben Shapiro. You all say the same NPC talking points, normie bullshit about fat people, about gay people, about trans people, and it's fucking mirrors Ben Shapiro because that's where it comes from. And you don't challenge your attitudes. Instead, you act like people are hysterical and you say, oh, uh, you think I'm making some right wing agenda. No, it's not your agenda. You're a normal guy who doesn't challenge his viewpoints and you're ignorant because you have a channel and you have people that fucking listen to you and you won't actually challenge when people make videos about you. It's crazy. Well, that's number one. That's a lot of assumptions. And it's not assumptions. Great. I'm great. literally being aggressive. I'm no, pointing out things about you. This first one is called Noah Sampson is Horrible. Shout out Noah. Noah put me in the first Guide to Bread 2 video. If you check it, I am in there um, with my old logo. So if you check it, I am in there. Anyways, let's play this video. Who's ready for a hot, spicy bowl of drama? Someone that I've been meaning to talk about for a minute, and I am absolutely shocked I haven't yet, is someone by the name of Noah Sampson. This is one of the content creators that is pretty much the same as Niggas Not Green, Nathan Is Online, Chat Chat, or whatever the, you know, or David, and all of those type of YouTubers, which I strongly dislike. I think their content is brain rot, and yes, that's coming from me. I think that type of content is harmful, and yes, once again, that's coming from me. I think he is in no position to take the intellectual titan mantra even though he's like taking a oh, i'm pithy and sarcastic ah oh, my content's you know bad but then he's like trying to make this like big on high declaration that oh these people who put significantly more effort into their content their content is boring and bad and brain rotting when they put significantly more time research and thought into their content it's insulting he makes the position that commentary content from like a vaguely leftist, you know, perspective is harmful. And I think that's like, come on, dude, like you're making leafy clone videos in the year of our Lord 2024. You know, you could like do some better presentation than just, you know, occasional PNGs and gameplay footage. But instead you just do, you know, exact leafy shit. Um, Hire an editor, make some motion graphics, or uh, maybe, you know, maybe appear in a video, or, you know, have some sort of more interesting visual than your fucking gameplay. I was doing some of the research for it, I stumbled upon a video called Woke People Don't Know How to Research. If you guys know me, I am not the biggest fan of the word woke, mainly because it's overdone to death. It just got overused. Same thing with Snowflake, and I think we should get a few drinks, some hot Cheetos, and then just get right into it. I think this is showing something that he's about to agree with, I think, before you sleep. That's about to say something significant about his character. I think Before You Sleep is a, you know, Manosphere, MGTOW, Sigma Male, incel type content creator. He is like resemblant of a real old style of content that I remember from like fucking 2016, 2017. 
and it's kind of abysmal that people would take his word as like, you know, a good argument. A little while back, I saw a video from this anti-woke, anti-SAW channel called Think Before You Sleep. I made a response to it because it was an odd video in my opinion. I was hoping that he would eventually respond to it, and lo and behold, and other, whatever other stuff. He did. Why woke content is trash. The video is called, there's me on the thumbnail, hi to me. It's a video about my video, which is a video about his video. This little back and forth, it definitely seems like two people from two completely different perspectives going at it. And it's not like this guy is like a right winger from what I could tell, like an extreme right winger. What I can tell from sensitive society as a person is he doesn't have a good grasp on political awareness because he thinks think before you sleep is not a right-wing person montage he's by far the youngest performer we've seen there's even adult performers that sometimes you can help perform i wouldn't be surprised if this is a next recall did anyone think to ask if this was age appropriate anyone are we just letting kids do whatever they want with no parenting at all anyway for the past few weeks I've been going down the groomer denial rabbit hole because of this video that I made here. During this time, I've watched many people who rightfully say that child beauty pageants and child marriage are wrong, yet they'll completely deny the sexually explicit behavior that occurs at family-friendly drag shows. So when it comes to owning the cons on weird stuff like child marriage, though I haven't seen any mainstream conservatives support that. So it's all of a sudden act like this phenomenon of girls getting pregnant at, at, at a young age that we consider young, 16 or 17. Exactly. To act like it's a new thing is ridiculous. It's always been that way. Uh, girls between the ages of like 17 and 24 is when they're technically most fertile. Yeah. Okay. That's biological. That's a fact. All right. I'm just stating facts. That's all I'm doing. But that's why you can have someone in their seventies who's celebrating their, you know, uh, 55th wedding anniversary because they got married when they were teenagers. So what I'm saying is that the problem is not per se teenage pregnancy. It's unwed pregnancy. That's the problem in society. The thing with these type of channels is that I don't agree with them a thousand percent. At the same time, I can't think of one YouTube channel that I see and I'm like, I agree with you a thousand percent. And as a YouTube fan and as a YouTube creator, I know that not everyone's going to agree with this video. I strongly dislike no one and I don't know too much about these people, but if no one's calling you out, you must be doing something right. That's such a fucking stupid opinion to have. I hate this guy so much that if you are like in opposition to him, you must be doing something right. What if this guy was like actually a Nazi? My guy, what if he was actually not? I'm not sure he isn't. What, but what if he actually was a Nazi? Like, what, what, would, you, would you take his side still? If no one's calling you out, you must be doing something right. Are, w Dude, I know that's a kind of a, that's kind of like a fucking really bad faith argument. I know, it's a really bad faith argument. Sometimes you have to consider who Noah is calling out. He calls out a lot of Manosphere people. He calls out a lot of far-right people. And he also calls out a lot of, you know, people who make far-right arguments but aren't the rest of themselves far-right. But, you know, if this guy were one of those far-right people that Noah calls out, which he is, then you gotta think, am I defending a Nazi? Foreshadowing is a narrative device in which suggestions or warnings about events to come are dropped or planted. Sometimes, your people you have like a personal vendetta against, like, are, are doing the right thing sometimes. Sometimes you're not correct. Sometimes you might be personally upset with some, like a group of people because they called you out on something and that's causing you to be short-sighted on the actual truth of the matter. And then supporting people who you as a normal guy wouldn't support otherwise. I don't think you're a guy who would support like incel rhetoric. And, cause I've like looked at a lot of your content actually. Like I've tried, I've, I've considered making a video on you for like a year and a half now. I don't think, and I came back to you this month after like a few months of not looking at you. And I saw this video. I don't think you should be thinking about defending incel figures like this. You're mostly just like a regular guy who has like some bad opinions. I watched Think Before You Sleep's videos and Noah's videos. Think Before You Sleep is an extremely dishonest actor. Like, enemy of my enemy is my friend is not always the right answer. And it's really concerning that like, you're going down that path because it's, this is how a pipeline actually happens. And we're back with more YouTube fails featuring Noah Sampson, a perfect example of a YouTuber who made a mistake, made a fool of himself, did not learn his lesson, and then proceeded to make that exact same mistake again in his next reaction. A left-leaning YouTuber named Noah Sampson did a reaction to this video here that I made about a Dove Soap campaign called Real Virtual Beauty, 
where I emphasize the importance of citing your sources because Dove made a claim about female gamers and didn't cite where they got the data. Both Noah and his big streamer friend Hassan Piker reacted to this video and essentially made the argument that people should not have to cite their sources when they make statistical claims, which is a really bad take. Two out of three people who watch this video and don't subscribe will die in the next 10 minutes. Oh, source? Uh, I just made it up. There's no source. I just made it up. Hassan told me it was okay. Which is not the argument they make. That's not the argument they made. Um, and it's... <laughs> That's like a big misrepresentation. And if you don't immediately see that as bad faith, you're kind of like, your alarm bells are not going off like, whoa, I better go check what he actually said. You really are like, have blinders on. So first off, Think Before You Sleep makes the argument that Dove is a lazy company because they show a statistic on the screen that he doesn't believe is true. Real beauty takes effort, and everything about this project from Dove says, we put no effort into this. For example... We're not there. We don't exist. The things are not made for you. Okay, I don't believe that statistic at all. Where did you get that number? Did you simply ask three of your British friends? Because there is no way that most British women are eternally offended snowflakes who care about that kind of stuff. So this is the Opinion Women in Gaming survey from early 2021. It was a survey of about 1,400 United Kingdom gamers age 18 and over. One of the key findings here was that 69% of women felt that there needs to be more female characters in video games in general. The two-thirds statistic that Dove shows here, that is from this survey. And here you might say, well, no, if Dove didn't cite where they found that statistic on the screen, so a viewer of the ad would have no idea where to search to confirm its validity. And well, firstly, Think Before You Sleep is not just a viewer of the ad, he is a YouTube journalist, let's call him, with a big audience that's making a video that critiques this ad. All he had to do was a single Google search with some relevant terms to find this survey. It took me 10 seconds. It's really not that much work, but he didn't do it, which, you know, that's lazy. This is completely lazy. Sorry, I just wanted to use that clip. At no point did Noah make the argument that you don't, that like, he made the point that Think Before You Sleep didn't even bother looking up what the actual statistic was. Because like, who the fuck cares about what the actual, where the fuck statistics and ads are from? You can look it up if you care. You can look it up. Especially if you're like a YouTuber who like talks about this stuff. Like, oh my god, do a little due diligence. He just makes the stupidest points possible. Oh, it then arrogantly called me lazy and bragged about it only taking him 10 seconds to find the study that Dove never cited. All he had to do was a single Google search with some relevant terms to find this survey. It took me 10 seconds. It's really not that much work, but he didn't do it. Except it was the wrong study with the wrong information on it. After that, Noah proceeded to cite a bunch of studies that he obviously didn't read because if he read more than the first paragraph, he would have realized that they proved the opposite of what he was claiming in his video, which was really funny. All this was hilarious because he's basing his reputation on being the guy who does the work and knows how to look at the facts and the data when he clearly has no idea what he's doing when it comes to research. You know, that is something that I've noticed with a lot of these YouTubers and as someone who got called out by one of them, they got stuff wrong, they continue to do it over and over and over again and they keep getting exposed and they're losing credibility because they're idiots. You highlighting, you highlighting one thing that says something in the study does not I fucking hate. No one never actually gave the wrong statistics or gave point of the wrong study. This is just red herrings and he's taking the side of someone who's so fucking stupid. So, so, sensitive society takes the side of someone who freely and willingly misrepresents uh, statistics, data, and arguments, and it's because he doesn't like Noah Sampson, and that's really stupid, and I think that's really... Two out of three people who watch this video and don't subscribe will die in the next 10 minutes. Oh, source? Uh, I just made it up. There's no source. I just made it up. Hassan told me it was okay. So you guys already here first. If you're not subscribed, wait notifications on, and you're not liking this video, in the next 10 minutes, you will literally explode. I already told you the study. I don't need to explain where I got it from, what studies I conducted, where I got the research from. Just blindly believe me, because YouTubers will never lie to you. Am I right? Not the, that's not the same argument, Sensitive Society. There's actually a statistical source. They just didn't put it in the ad. You, you are <laughs> the intellectual titan of sensitive society. Uh, the same thing as a survey existing somewhere is the same thing as just making shit up. Uh, this is this is the intellectual titans. 
Now there's this YouTuber called Patience Cena. I'm horrible with names. I truly do apologize if I butchered it. And she had a little back and forth with Noah Sampson. And Noah Sampson took a huge L. He got completely destroyed. This is the thing he does. He makes a dumb video. He gets a response. He cries and has a mental breakdown on Twitter and gets his account suspended. He just makes the stupidest points possible. Oh, oh, oh my God. So this is really just... This is his just his fucking personal petty vendetta against Noah. I thought this was just about the sense this is just about the thing before you sleep video. No, this is just his personal petty vendetta against like these YouTubers. Like these this group of YouTubers. So never mind. Um He brings up the patient Cena video and then Goes. He just makes the stupidest points possible. But then arrogantly called me lazy, and granted I'd only taken 10 seconds to find a study that Dove never cited. All he had to do was a single Google search with some relevant terms to find this survey. It took me 10 seconds. It's really not that much work, but he didn't do it. Except it was the wrong study with the wrong information on it. After that, Noah proceeded to cite a bunch of studies that he obviously didn't read, because if he read one in the first paragraph, he would have realized that they proved the opposite of what he was claiming in his video, which was really funny. All this was hilarious because he's basing his reputation on being the guy who does the work and knows how to look at the facts and the data when he clearly has no idea what he's doing when it comes to research. You know, that is something that I've noticed with a lot of these YouTubers, and it's all got called out by one of They got stuff wrong, they continue to do it over and over and over again, and they keep getting exposed and losing credibility because they're idiots. You are literally making an argument against think before you sleep and you don't even realize it you can't be pulling stuff out of thin air holding on to hope that your fans don't look into it because if you look at the research no one was very pro fat so he links an article and it says obesity at the state of being overweight are conditions which are understood as an excess of body fat and are associated with increased risk to several diseases and direct causes of quality of life have you read this <laughs> this is completely against you okay let's go back and read the whole thing. However, being overweight or obese is not necessarily enough to be motivated to start or continue weight management accent actions, since bod real body shape is sometimes misperceived. Being overweight or obese could be perceived as normal weight. Less prevalent is the misperception of normal weight as overweight. Hence, a correct self-perception of body image may affect weight body control body weight control and eventually quality of life. Moreover, body self-perception could be a helpful tool to healthcare providers when a body weight control program would be planned. In no way does this contradict what Noah said. Think before you sleep and you are just reading the first sentence and stopping. If you read more than the first sentence, you would understand how this backs Noah's point. It's about self-perception and how that increases quality of life. This in no way undermines Noah's point. And you don't know how to read a study. You just read the highlighted part. I read the whole first paragraph and that, you know, shows you what this guy really wants to show you. You are agreeing with a guy who is dishonest. You are agreeing with a guy who is dishonest because you have a vendetta. You gotta understand, man. This guy is like rooking you. This guy is like taking you for all you have. You gotta do some more research. You gotta, like, examine things further than service level, man. You can't, you can't talk about, like, not believing things YouTubers tell you and then just believing what this YouTuber tells you. This is just a thing before you sleep video on his channel. He didn't make a video. He's just reacting to a thing before you sleep video. Let's see what Anthony Fantano is an idiot is about. This might be the most controversial video I've ever made, which is crazy, considering we've talked about pretty much everything that is talked about here. And if you're all the Fantano sheeps come from under the rocks and wear their hexagon glasses as Halloween saint, are you really criticizing someone now's opinion? It's just his opinion, bro, and this is mine. <laughs> he had his opinion. He's been yapping about Kanye for the last two months. Did you know he actually had two months for the last year and a half? Now it's my turn to yap and share my opinion on his opinion, of Kanye's opinion. This is the internet in 2024. Anthony Fantano, the Neo Drop, you love him, hate him. I personally enjoy his content. I've been watching him for a few years. I don't agree with him most of the time. I'm not an Anthony Fantano hater, and the recent months I've definitely stopped watching him. Now his music reviews, not only music reviews, music reviews and his political take. And it's like, yes, I know he's very into politics. I know that on Twitter. That's all he does because he's single. His wife left him and he's extremely terminally online. And that's all he does to spend his time on Twitter debating 14 year olds. And I need to remind you guys, Anthony Fantano is a 40 year old man beefing with 15 year olds. Which, when you think about it, it's kind of sad. This guy's almost my mom's age. If my mom was arguing with 15 year olds on Twitter about why Kanye is a Nazi, I would have to sit my mom down and be like, Mom, we gotta talk. We gotta get you off Twitter. So, if you guys know, Kanye dropped his new album, Vultures. I like it. Do I think it's the best? No. Do I think it's album of the year? No. <laughs> it's good. But I, as you can say, that it's the greatest album and it's the best album since Jesus or the Life of God. And I'm like, are we listening to the same music? Vultures is not better than Donda. But what's kept over the last 25 hours with that channel is something that needs to be studied. And even his own fans are starting to turn on it. So, let me show you how his Twitter has been like for the last 12 hours. He started listening to that. So, He's defending vultures? He's dick riding a Nazi. Okay, shit. This guy is actually worse than I thought. 
Um, uh, take back what I said about like being a normal guy, because you're just fucking dick riding a Nazi. You're, dude, you're dick riding a Nazi. Like, why are you fucking riding so hard? This is not just about an opinion, man. This is not just about an opinion. This is about how. This is about how. This is about how Kanye West is platforming like Nazi ideology and famously now has like gone full Nazi and is now trying to claw back but still won't admit he did anything wrong and references that he's like playfully referencing anti-Semitism in Vultures and it's really fucked up and it's like and nothing is that goes that hard on it that it's worth even like defending it. It's not fucking good. It's not fucking that good. It's not gonna save him from being a Nazi. He's a fucking Nazi. There's nothing good enough to save it from that. There's nothing that's like fucking graduation on there. You're just coping because you want another graduation and you're not gonna get it. And you're dick riding a Nazi. And it's really sad. My God, man. Do you really not think Kanye is a Nazi? What does Kanye have to do to be a Nazi? He said, I love Hitler. I love Hitler. He, he made an explicit speech about how much he loved Hitler twice, man. What does Kanye have to do to tell you he's a Nazi? What does he have to do more? God. Hate is a banger, in my opinion. But no, Anthony Fantano doesn't agree with me. He thinks I'm less of a, he thinks I'm scum because how dare this peasant enjoy vultures? Is he a Nazi? Does this guy secretly hate Jews? After this, I The problem isn't that you're a peasant for enjoying vultures, is that you're enabling Nazi Kanye. Like, why are you continuing to enable Nazi Kanye is the problem. He's got old music, go listen to it. Don't listen, don't support his new shit. Album, Kanye fans no longer have any grounds to get in my face about liking any song Sexy Red does ever. Sexy Red is trash. Uh, if I had friends and I pass in the ox and they play Sexy Red, I'm gonna be blocking a few people. And no, Fantano, it's not because I hate black, strong, independent women, okay? Her music is just trash. But that's just my opinion. God, you have such dog shit taste, man. I'm like, I don't even know what to say, like, because, like, you don't even have interesting music takes like you just are like i mean like you're an, i want to say you're a normal guy but like now you're just defending a nazi so hard it's like you're doubling down into opinions that are like really really stupid i want to like see you come out of this but you're not you're going harder to the right to defend a guy who is like in love with Hitler. What the fuck, man? I don't know why you want Kanye so bad that you're willing to defend him being a Nazi so much for this stupid, bad fucking album that is really fucking piss, that you have shitty opinions on music. I... I can I can barely watch this guy. He has, he's like his gameplay is shit. His fucking opinions are shit. He he's gotten worse since I like last watched him. Cause I last watched him like a year ago, and he was like bad, but not this bad. Like oh my god, man! You gotta look in the mirror. For real. Take one step back and think like. Am I just getting mad at people for a culture war thing? Am I getting mad at creators because like I have like a personal vendetta with the like the sphere they're in? Am I taking the side of someone who I shouldn't be agreeing with because I don't like the people that they're attacking? Take a step back, man. Think about it. Think about it for like a good few hours. You gotta really examine like what you're doing. You're making a negative influence on your impressionable fan base. You're like enabling them to like back like 
Kanye's Nazi ideology. You're enabling them to go watch uh, fucking Think Before You Sleep's incel content. Like, this is an explicit, like, thing. Like, this is beyond, like, like, uh, algorithmically alt-right pipeline shit. You are endorsing video and content that is alt-right, man. You gotta, like, take a step back and, like, really examine yourself, man. In summary, sensitive society needs to grow up. Thanks for watching. I've been an actual joke. You've been great. Uh, check out the Patreon uh, for a dollar. It's the only tier. Well, there's going to be a five dollar tier for music, but that's like the only other thing. But like Patreon, a dollar a month. And that's it. Uh, and there'll be some more videos coming on the Patreon very soon, and then they'll be released slowly on YouTube after that. But, like, thank you so much for watching, and I want to see you in the next one. Bye.